Chromebooks have the everything button. So you can find things instantly. Switch to Chromebook. Hey everybody. How y'all doing? Good. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is made. y'all what I had for Christmas that I've never had before. All right. Uh, I stayed in the bed. Me too. Man, I think my grandkids thought I was crazy. <laughs> Me too. My wife thought I was crazy. <laughs> my kids thought I was crazy. <laughs> but I'm resting. I don't know what Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's right. But That's I right. just made the decision to stay yeah. in the bed. Um, I know. <laughs> Christmas this year to me wasn't about giving folks gifts. Yeah. All my kids asked me what was they getting. I told them the same thing I gave you yesterday. Ha! They said you didn't give me nothing yesterday. I said that's what I got you for Christmas. All right, all right. Because every day y'all come to Jesus, my house and don't Jesus want to give me no Every day y'all eat up my food and don't yeah, replace it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's about Lord Savior. Three month eviction notices. I said, yeah. here you go, March the 15th. Y'all yeah. need to be gone. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 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 And then where we going? I said, I need a place for here. Amen. Right. And then Mama needs some peace and quiet. That's right. Oh. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But uh, as we see that there is things that are going on in the building, which simply means that um, a lot of times when God is ready to do something new, mm -hmm. He'll allow things to happen. Yes. yes. But at the same time, that's his way of bringing folks together. That's right. In order to go into what he has in store for us yes. later yes. down the line. Yes. The bad part is if we don't come together on one accord, mm. we miss the open door opportunity. That's right. The building is literally just a, uh, uh, a metaphoric example of what God is trying to do to us on the inside. Yes. And I want us to remember that 2021 was a rough year. Yes, yes. And if you look at the drips, if you look at the damage, this is the same thing that happens to this eternal body. Yes, oh, yeah. We don't stay lined up with That's the heavenly right. yes. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the drips that we have and the leaks that we have in this old building, we need to leave it in 2021. Yes, yes. So that yes. great, great, great repair can repair us for 2022. Amen. And we'll be ready to do and have everything that he says that we should have. Right. Now listen to me. Everybody's not a builder. Everybody's not an electrician. Yes. Everybody, but it doesn't mean that everybody don't have to play a part. Whether it's your prayer, whether it's coming to sweep it, whether it's coming to making sure the bathroom is wiped down, whether it's just coming to open the door for somebody to come and do the work, we need to tag team and pull together yes. as a collective body so that God can be pleased with us yes. and he can continue to open up the doors that no man can shut. Because right, at the end right. of the day, he says, if you're faithful over a few things, yes. I'll make you ruler over me. All right. And this right here is a few things. And I want you to know that that man right there started this a long time ago. Yes, Lord. He didn't leave this here for us to just let it go any kind amen, of way. Amen, amen. But how do we honor him? We honor him by making sure that we take care of what he left. Yes. To be the beacon light of the community. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So I challenge all of us. I don't say I challenge you. I challenge all of us. So let's come together and work. Because the Bible says we've got to work all this day. Because nighttime is not going to to work. And watch what I tell you. When we come together and make it happen, yes. we're stronger together yes, Lord. than we are apart. Amen. 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 And so let us work together. If the workers are down here, we just got to come bring them some water. Let's just make sure that we're all doing our part and making a sacrifice to better us so that we can be better for what God has for us. Amen. 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 And uh, there's no mere coincidence that we're not set up to have service. But we are going to have some prayer. Mm -hmm. We are still together. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, 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 and whoever said that church has it, there's no structure as far as how God wants his service to go. Mm -hmm. But if we come together and worship together, if we come together and give him praise, mm -hmm. he's just as pleased as if we spent an hour and a half in here sweating and running up and down the aisles. Yeah. Because at least at this part, we're giving him everything authentically. Yeah. Amen. 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 So let us just look to God let us. Let us, let us bow our heads and have a, a word of prayer. Uh, Father, we thank you for another morning that you have given us, God. You gave us this day with brand new grace and brand new mercies. 
And we want to say thank you. Thank you. God, we just give your name praise because for um, all of 2021 in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of people being sick, in the midst of us not having enough supplies, in the midst of all of the prices going up, in the midst of it all, you still kept and sustained us. And so we want to tell you thank you. God, we know that there's a cold pandemic or a cold uh, a situation going around and people are getting sick and they're staying sick with these colds. But God, we know that even you, the great healer, the great physician, can send a touch from heaven to rest upon us now. Yes. And God, we're just grateful to the fact that we are still here and understanding that you still have all power in your hands. Yes, Lord. And so we thank you. We thank you for gathering us together. We thank you, Father, that Mother Maddie didn't uh, tell everybody to stay at home. But, but, but God, we can come together because just like a marriage where you said for better or for worse, just yes, like you said yes. in sickness and in health, yes, it's the same yes. way you expect us to be with the church. All right. And so we thank you, God. You expect us to be this way with you as you are the bridegroom and we are the bride. So we're here, Father God. We're here gathered together in your name. We're here, Father God, to seek your face. We're here, Father, right now to assess the situation. But at the same time, we're here on one accord to put it in your hands. Yes. Because we know in your hands is the best place that it can be. Yes. So I'm asking God as you began to, to put this thing into place, put the plan into place, put us all on the same page, put us all on one accord, and allow us, Father God, to work together. Allow it to be no, anim no animosity, no attitudes. Allow it to be just togetherness and unity, God, that yes, we may be able yes. to see this through to the end. Yes, Lord. And every little one, the thing that's done, Father God, let us give your name praise for every little thing that yes, you do. Yes. So when the big thing is done, we don't have to hurry up to get there, but God will already be praised up in the yes, name of Jesus. Lord. Now I'm asking that you touch every body that's in here, their sickness. Yes, touch them, God, in the midst of all that they're going through. Yes. And let them know, Father God, that the best is still yet to come. Yes. And so, God, I'm asking now, Father God, as you have imposed upon my heart this morning to encourage everyone, Father God, that they leave those things that are not good for them yes. in 2021. Well, this is the last Sunday of this yes, year. Yes. Father God, we have the opportunity now to lay it at your feet. Yes. So all the discouragements and disappointments and all of the things, Father God, that are not healthy for us and all those yes, things, Lord. Father, that try to hinder our spiritual growth and our mental and physical growth, we leave it at your feet. We leave yes. it at the foot of the cross right now. Yes. And we ask you, God, to let us have learned from those things yes. and let it make us a better us in 2022. Yes. In the name of Jesus, let us make covenant with you now, God, and we'll put ourselves in a position to be used more by you, oh God. And we just thank you right now. We honor and we magnify and glorify your holy name right now. And we say happy birthday, Jesus. Even though it's a day late, we say happy birthday to you, Jesus. And we thank you now, Father God. We thank you for we know that your word declares that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of men. All that God has in store for us, yes. Father God, knowing that we seek your face, we love you and we honor you, we praise you, God, because you are still God. Yes. And we thank you, God. Thank we you, magnify God. and exalt your name. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, grow us from the inside out. Yes. Allow your light to shine like it's never shined before. Yes. And allow someone to come running and ask them what must they do to be saved, yes. to be able to have the gloriousness of you. Resting all on them. And we thank you for it now. You, In the blessed name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. That all of God's children say amen. 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 It's amazing that this happened. Because God has shared with me to share with you all this morning. About the parable of the talents. Yes, sir. And you know the Bible says God gave each of them according to to what their ability was. But the problem in that particular story was most folk, the, the, the one with the one talent mm -hmm. didn't do what he was supposed to and then you have to ask yourself why. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they said he hid it so he would keep it safe. But a lot of times what happens is when God trusts us with talents, sometimes we don't believe that we are capable to handle that talent. Now, sometimes we want to compare that one talent with somebody that got five or six. Uh -huh. 
And we don't do well with ours because we're so busy worried about somebody else. Yes. Yes, what I want to share with you is this. Whether you have one talent or whether you have 15 talents, yes. the job is not to compare what you got to somebody else. Yes. But the job is, and the, and the means of it is, to take care of what he's giving you and be the best that you can be at what he's giving you in your talent. Because no matter if it's one or 15, it adds to the pot of all the other talents. Yeah. And when it's all said and done and you step before the judgment seat, yeah. he's not going to tell you when you had 15 and you yes, didn't do yes. good or if you had one and I'm only going to bless you according to. When he, talked about the, uh, when he talked about the workers in the field and he said that there were some workers out there that worked all day long and he had the one worker that came half a day, but he still got the same wage and everybody got mad because he got the same wage. God is that kind of God. If you put forth the effort, he'll make sure that he puts forth the blessing. Yes. Amen. So if your one talent is, is, is just to pray, then be the best person at your prayer that you can be. If your Amen. one talent is, is, is to help clean, just be the best that you can be. Don't focus on anything Amen. but pray and ask God. Help me to be the best that I can be in the talent that you've given me. Because I want to make sure that I contribute to the body of Christ in everything that you call for me to do. And this way, what winds up happening is the 15, the person with 15 talents, when he comes by and says, you have been faithful over those 15 and I'm going to give you some more. Don't miss getting more because you were so busy, messed up because you didn't have more from the beginning. For much is given, much is required. Are you with me? And he's only going to give you at the time what you have the capacity to maintain at the time. And if you want more, do more. Yes, sir. Yes, if you sir. want more, pray more. Yes, if you want more, believe more. Yes, sir. And if you want more, let God see that he can trust you with more. Amen. 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 So whatever your talent is, <clears throat> they were speaking of monies and stuff like that, that in that parable. But whatever your gift is, whatever your talent is, give it to Christ. Use it for the edification of the body yes. so that God can bless you with more. And it ain't always giving you more talents. It can be blessing your family. It can be blessing your, your grandkids that ain't even here yet. Set up your legacy of blessings now by the way you use your talents now. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. Amen. Josh, find out what your talent is that God wants you to have. And what he wants you to present to him. Because at the end of the day, guess what's going to happen? You set your legacy up right now. Yes. You set it up right now. Yes, Lord. You set blessings or curses up in your life for your generations to come right now. So what am I saying? Do with your talent what God has given you to do with your talent. Yes. And whether he gives you more or not, your blessing is still on its way. Right. Amen. 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 Don't worry about mother's talent. Yes. Don't worry about uh, uh, Michael's talent. Mm -hmm. Focus on your talent. Amen. Focus on your job. Mm -hmm. Focus on your ability. And then there'll be less division in the church. It'll less be animosity in the church. It'll, less be, it'll be less disagreements in the church and arguments. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because if I'm busy working on mine, yeah, I'm God's going to be busy enough to make sure that what I'm working on on mine and what you're working on yours right. works together. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I had somebody this morning. Mm -hmm. And when it's all said and done, we get done faster than we thought we would get done. You know why? Because we ain't got time for unnecessary stuff. All right. And while we're working, God is yet blessing. Mm -hmm. And he'll make sure that when it's done, he gets the glory. All right, all right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's make them three twos with a zero in the middle. Mm -hmm. The best ones that we got. Yeah. <laughs> the three twos with the zero in the middle. Yeah. Let's make it the best year out of the last 10 years that we've had All right. by doing what? Utilizing our talent, yes. being on one accord, and operating in unity. Yes, yes. And the last thing, let the love of God show through you in everything you, you do. do. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Y'all yeah. yeah. know the old saying, I love you, mm. and it ain't nothing you can do about All it. All right. And in 2022, we're going to make sure our actions speak louder than our words. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen.
Don't wait for a special occasion to tell somebody you, you love them and appreciate right. them. That's right. But let them know every day because tomorrow's yeah. not promised That's tonight. That's right. That's right. That's right. When I'm laying here in a box right now, you come mm. tell me how much you love and appreciate yeah. me because you missed yeah. the last three months of telling me. Yeah. It don't matter because I can't respond. Yeah, all right. All right. Amen. All right. And all them people sitting out there wondering huh. what you didn't get to him and you got to be up there acting a fool now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because if you do it all year long, guess what happens? Yeah. When it's time for me to go, yeah. you're glorifying God with me because now I have transitioned. All right. Huh? All so, right. And instead of crying about what you should have done, the cry should be the cry of glory. That's right. Yeah. That the life that I lived was sufficient enough to get me where God has called me. All right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate. Yes. Celebrate. So let's yes. love on each other. Let's encourage one another. Yes. And let's make sure that we work this thing out together. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, amen. I believe God is getting ready to do something real, real, real great. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to get these things to find out the depth of what's really going on. Right. Think right. about the warnings, mother. You yes. said that it was a. It almost was a fire downstairs. Right. That was a warning that things needed to be taken care of. Right. Now you got the roof that's really doing more. And you got too much rain that's still coming. Yeah. That's another sign that there's some things that are going on that we don't see. Yes. Right. And it's best now to assess what's going on mm -hmm. so it can all be done at the same time. Yes. So you don't have to go and undo what was just done to redo some stuff that should have been done all right. when everything was already undone. All right. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's almost like Josh, that's almost like putting a new engine in and forgetting to change the oil. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's no good. Yes. But if we do it all because we know what's going on, that's right. It may take some time, but guess what? If God is in it, it's gonna be all right. That's right. Now listen to me. If we gotta just use this section of the church, mm -hmm. let's still have church. That's right. If, 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 if we got to put a tent and some out and some and some and some some outside heaters in the parking lot, yeah, let's still have church. All right, all right. Because in that, God sees the faithfulness of we're not stuck on the building, yeah, but we are focused on the builder. All right, all right. Watch what He does. Yeah, watch what He does. Yes. If we got to go downstairs and have church downstairs. So be it. Yes. We we'll start we as long as we have church. Yeah. As long as we have church, yeah. we have a place to have church. Let's yes. have it. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we weren't expecting this for the fourth, the last Sunday of the year, mm. but it's okay. That's right. Because this is a realigning for us. Mm -hmm. This is a refocus for us. And at the same time, this is an opportunity for us to please God by coming together yes. on one accord. Yes. And one other thing I want to share with you, it don't take a whole lot of people. That's right. To do a whole lot of stuff. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Everybody that's here just be faithful. Yes. To God and to each other. That's right. We can do more with this group right here than we can with a bunch of with 165 people. Right. And there's only five people that really want to do something. Yes. If you don't believe it, look at the story of Gideon. Started off with 10,000 men. By the time it was done, he went to battle with 365 or 85 men mm. and still accomplished more with them yes. than he would have with 10,000. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's not about your quantity. It's about your quality. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Let's give God our best and watch what he does. Yes. We give him our best and he'll do the rest. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise here. So usually, usually I, uh, well this will be the first year, I had already made up my mind I wouldn't go to watch night this year. But usually, and last year we didn't do one because of COVID. But usually I do sunrise service and watch night service, and it's just been that kind of year. But I'm believing, I'm believing, God's going to do some stuff. And in, 20, in the end of 2022, God said the same, we're going to watch night service. Yeah. Everybody gonna be watching for him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. And he gonna do some new stuff in the building. Yes. And then he gonna do some new stuff in the building. Mm -hmm. And we gonna have a watch night service and we gonna praise God up yes. in here on Eighth Avenue. Yeah. Amen. 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 But in the meantime, let us get together. 
Let us work together. Yes. Let us make this thing happen together. The other thing I want to encourage you on, let's get together. And let's not worry about who's not going to be here. But let's worry about working and, and, and glorifying God and putting some things together on calendar. And let's, let's work together. If it ain't nothing but us, let's come together and be us. But don't sit still and not have things and not do things because of what other people are and not doing. Let us be the church that God is calling for. And if we do it, God, he's faithful to sing what he needs to sing. Amen. Amen. And I'd rather us rock it and make sure we do it right than to have a whole bunch of people that's looking to lose anyway. Yes. So yes. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. So we don't need nobody hindering our spirit when God is trying to grow us from the inside out. Amen. If you're not going to come in here and want to worship God with us and have a good time, mm -hmm. you stay on at home. Amen. 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 And we'll worship God for ourselves. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Lord. Praise yes. the Lord. I love y'all. Love you too. too. Amen. 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 Mother, you want to share anything? No, not me. I'm just glad that everybody came and I'm glad that the Lord showed me that it wasn't a day for us to close the city road the day this morning, doors this morning. And that we all needed to come together just to see one another because this may be the last time we see one another. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it and I just said, if we don't remember coming in and pray. Mm -hmm. And thank God for we still have a building. Yes. This is God's building. It's not mine. Mm -hmm. And as long as he have kept it this far, I know he didn't leave it here for, for us not to use it. Right. And for us not to be grateful that we have it. Amen. And here I just, uh, uh, this one I said, because I called him and told him to tell him we were in church. Mm -hmm. And then I called, I, I told him, I'm not losing my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you haven't said the message, I don't say it. Let yeah. mm -hmm. everybody come because I need them to see what I see. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they can see something that I don't see. Mm -hmm. But they, every time I tell them, you know, this is going on and this is going on, <coughs> and they don't see the only word they have in mind. Mm -hmm. right. But seeing is believing. Mm -hmm. And if you see for yourself, then you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. right. And you know what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have ideas of what needs to happen. Amen. You know, Amen. and I was just kidding, trying to tell I would not know in the church I think anybody else. Amen. Because it, it seems to, it, can, it kind of throws us apart, and then it don't happen the way it's supposed to happen. So if we just do what we need to do in this building, <coughs> and let God handle that part, then I just think it will be okay. <coughs> It's just to please us. Because this is all I have was here today, basically. It's all I have and all I've had for a long time. But God has sustained us Amen. and He has kept us together. Amen. And we haven't had no lights cut off and the gas is still going. We ain't had no big heaters. But the gas is still on. You know, so I can be thankful for that. Amen. And I can be thankful for all the women because all I can say to them is when I call, they come. Amen. And I thank the Lord for that. Amen. 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 Well, we, we, uh, before we start here, we want to ask God to, to, to touch every inch and corner of this building. Yes, uh, Lord. And make it what He wants it to be. Yes, yes. Not what we want it to be, but yes. what He wants it to be. Yes. And that His Spirit dwells in every nook and cranny of this building. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. So, look, this is what we're going to do. We're here. Let's take up our offering. Okay. Amen. Let's just take up our offering. After we take up our offering, we're going to uh, yeah. extend that that other uh, level of praise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to sing a congregational song and, and, and amen. Yeah. We ain't got to have no little musicians and all that other kind of stuff. So our voice is our instrument. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. My amen. Mind. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This is our last seed offering for 2022. I mean, 2021. I'm sorry. This is our last seed offering for 2021. Uh, let's give. The Bible did say that if we'll give, He'll give it back to us, pressed down, shaken together. And running over shall man give unto our bosom. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. 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 Just going down the stairs? I'll be here. 